we should be staying in Congress and finish the supplemental, the disaster relief. It's something that we have been working on for quite some time. I applaud Leader McConnell for saying that he will not let the Senate leave. That's a sign of leadership. When I look to this majority in this House, I can't point to one problem that we have solved. And to the idea that we would leave while others are going through disasters, and just last night we watched, and my thoughts and prayers go out to those in Missouri in this devastating tornado, I think the one thing that should not be partisan, that we should make sure this government is there for them in their time of need. We can do better, and the first action we should take to show we could do better, we should call the House back in. We should stay here, finish the supplemental the disaster, and show the American public that we can govern. It shouldn't be leaving this weekend. There are moments in time that I believe all America becomes proud of this House. Those moments in those committees where we find every Republican and every Democrat who find common ground. We watched that before in energy and commerce where we looked to ways that we could lower drug prices. We found three bills that would give America more options, lower the actual cost of prescription drugs, and it passed committee unanimously. Before it got to committee, this Democrat majority leadership changed the bill, put a poison pill in it, which will never become law. Today, we just witnessed something very similar. Ways and Means Committee worked together to find common ground when it came to pensions and others. Every Republican and every Democrat voted for it. But the special interest actually won out. They changed the bill before it came to the floor. We all are familiar with 529 accounts that allow us to save money for our kids' college. But it also allows you to do more, pay for the books, pay for the college exams in the new version. It would also help if you have a child with disability. But the special interest decided that was wrong. The special interest decided that should be removed from the bill. And there's three things I learned from this, of allowing the special interest to remove the idea that you could not help your own children be able to save for your education. The Democrats want institutions, not individuals, be the focus of their education funding. They want partisan interest and not parents to decide how children learn. And they want the federal government, not families, to have control over their money. 